Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Gabby Starbuck. If you do like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and hit the notification bell so you get notifications on every time I pop one of these videos up. So I haven't done a vlog for a while and a lot of you that follow the channel will realise it's because I'm expecting a baby and we are literally days away. So a bit up and down as to whether I should do a vlog or not but today I just thought I'm just going to go for it because for Christmas I got some really really lovely gifts. Last year I did a vlog for you showing you all the gifts that I got. One of the reasons this vlog is useful is because any guys out there that are thinking what can I get my partner for Christmas, they don't know what a girl wants and things like that, well this vlog is going to come in very handy because I'm going to show you all my gifts and I'm absolutely in love with every single gift that I got so hopefully it will help you out and I think last year a lot of you did enjoy the vlog, having a little nosy as to what I got as well, so I thought why not do that again. I've got Smidgey with me in the background. Hello darling. He's nice and cosy on the bed and he's been a little bit nosy. If I'm setting anything up in the house, Smidge has got to come and get involved because he has a bit of FOMO, this cat. So yeah, I thought I'd let Smidge come and get involved because, you know, it'd be no show without punch. Obviously, I'm not drinking alcohol at the moment, so I've put some Coca-Cola in Tim's glass because mine's smashed. Because every time I get a nice glass, it smashes. So I'm on the Coke today, Coca-Cola. It's Coke Zero as well, so I'm being really, really good. So I'm going to show you what I got. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the stuff that Tim has bought me and then I'll show you some stuff that other family members have got as well. I am not showing you what um, my in-laws have bought or my mum or my dad and the reason for that is because we've received money and vouchers. So it's not really anything that I can show you. So we're eliminating them from the gift haul. So I'm going to start with Tim. Um, me and Tim always like to do a little bit of a present opening. So Christmas morning is literally, in our household, it is all about Holly. So Holly will come down the stairs in the morning and Holly will get all her gifts and she'll have, you know, small little stocking fillers and she'll have, um, you know, mediocre kind of gifts and then she'll get like... A few really really good ones um but it's all about holly and we dedicate the morning to her and we will tend to open up our gifts from maybe friends that have bought us stuff so we'll open up stuff from like maybe friends and a few family members um but our gifts to each other we tend to give to each other maybe the next day or later christmas day depending on what our plans are so me and Tim have like a little separate present opening from Holly and from family. This is how we do it in this household. And obviously next year it's going to be very, very different because Holly will have to share the morning with baby. So I don't know how she's going to get on with that. That should be quite interesting, her sharing her Christmas morning. But I'm sure she'll be just fine with it. Smidge didn't get anything this year because he gets most entertainment from the boxes and the wrapping. So I'm going to start with stuff that Tim's bought me. When me and Tim do gifts to each other, we do tend to get maybe about um, 22 gifts for each other. It used to start where we were just giving each other like seven and then it went up. We get a bit of a kick out of giving each other gifts as well. So it's not just receiving. I absolutely love watching Tim open up the gifts that I've bought him and fought long and hard about. Every year it's almost like we keep trying to outdo each other and it's just getting a bit ridiculous now and it's got to the point where Tim had said to me I've got you 22 gifts and I was like oh my god that's crazy and um, so I went out and tried to beat him <laughs> and I ended up getting Tim 24 and then when we gave them to each other he literally just said to me oh you idiot he said it was going to be 22 and he thought he'd outdone me and I was like well I had to go one better 
and I'd also do get some little bits for him to open up with Holly as well on um, Christmas morning, like selection packs and things like that, you know. And um, let's face it, chocolate always comes in very handy in any household, right? We start off with small stuff. You know, when I say 22 gifts, I'm not talking like um, 22 gifts of massive gifts. I'm talking like some of these gifts are small gifts. It sounds like oh she spoiled or he spoiled it it isn't like that at all and um, some of these things are very little and believe it or not some of the smallest gifts that i received are the best and we got halfway through present opening starting off with small building up to the bigger ones and tim had said to me like what is your favorite gift and one of my favorite gifts was one of the really small ones so it just goes to show you don't need to make massive gestures it's all about just being thoughtful you know What's in here at the end of the day? So anyway, Tim has bought me super drug, I believe. Look at these candles. So you're gonna have to forgive me because I have bust into this already to have a good smell of these candles. Three in a pack. I do love a candle. I can't deny it. Who doesn't? Every woman loves a candle. I think even men like candles because Tim does. They're this small, so they're great for like. If you want to put them in the bathroom or in the lounge or this is tangerine green tea and vanilla and that smells absolutely lovely one of them is orange blossom night jasmine and fresh rose jasmine as well there we go smidge you look after them he's bought me a diary every year tim will get me a diary because he knows i need it religiously I'm a very, very busy person and I'm talking gigs. I'm talking about the day job, even though I'm on maternity leave, which is very nice, but I'm very busy with my gigs and stuff. And I need to be well organised because if not, it would be chaos. So he's gone and got this from the calendar club and it's a really nice feel. It's like a leathery, not leather, but it feels leathery. He always has to get me one with a matching pen. I've already started putting my gigs in it already but it's got plenty of note space in the back as well. And it's a nice size, it's not too big and it's not too small because there's nothing worse than getting a really tiny one where you just can't find any space to write things and one that's just too big and it just doesn't fit in any bag. But this is the perfect size. Thank you very much, Tim. I love it. My sister always says, right, hope she doesn't really watch my vlog, so she won't know I'm saying this. So that's quite good. But my sister said that buying link sets and dove sets are a big cop out. But I personally love a dove set because dove is a really, really nice moisturising shower gel. It is so soft on your body. You can't fault it at all. I am fully appreciative of the dove sets. I'm sorry, but how can you go wrong? Inside here, it's got a body wash. It's got um, body lotion and it's got antiperspirants as well all things that you need things that are useful and it's come in this really swanky travel bag it's not leather obviously but it's really nice i love the fact that it's plain white and it just feels like really nice quality i'm really really pleased with this because i can take this on my holidays obviously not the stuff inside them well i probably could actually and this is what we're looking at three bottles in here but it's a really nice big size It'd be perfect for traveling i do have a lot of makeup bags and stuff but it's always nice to get a brand new fresh one at christmas gentlemen if you're looking at buying your missus a gift and you're thinking well i'd like to get her a makeup bag but the only problem is she's got ten thousand. it's absolutely fine it may just be that they're just using them for the sake of it because they haven't had a new one yet it's always nice to have a new fresh one. So go for it and buy that makeup bag or something like a travel bag or something like that because it will get used, whatever it is to put things in. So next on the list, he's bought me some fluffy socks. Now, who doesn't need fluffy socks? I have got a lot of pairs, but once you've had them for a while, say like from last Christmas or the Christmas before, they do start to go a bit manky after a while. After a few washes, they start to lose their softness. I've got two pairs. One pair is more sort of flat and fluffy, and this one is more bobbly and fluffy. They're from Pep & Co, which if you don't know what Pep & Co is, it is the pound shop clothing range, basically. But one thing I have noticed is there's hardly anything for a pound in there anymore, but that is where these have come from. They feel really soft. I love the bow that surrounds them, just to give it that little Christmassy vibe. The next item he bought me is an umbrella. I bought him an umbrella as well. To be fair, we never buy each other umbrellas. It's very, very rare. And I happened to buy him one and he bought me one as well. And he said, 
the reason I've bought you this is because you're always nicking hollies. Well, the reason I nick hollies is because hollies is really sturdy and it goes right around your body. So it's really handy. So I do have a few of these. It's got stars on it. And I think he bought it because he thinks I'm a star. <laughs> I must have about two in the car, two in the house. But it's always good because when you run out and they're all in your car, you still need another one to get to your car. So not only do we need cosy socks for when we're cozying up at night time, but we also need socks for during the day. And he has bought me, which is a new look pair, and it says on it, let the fun begin. But what it really means is let the fun be gin. And I do like a nice quirky pair. My favourite perfume in the whole wide world sometimes tim will buy me a different perfume just for a bit of variety but my all-time favorite perfume is a more and more so if he doesn't buy me this he's saying because he feels like he just want to keep buying me the same old same old stuff but he has gone and bought me this this year and i'm glad he has because i've completely run out if you haven't smelt this then i suggest you get down to your local boots or super drug and ask if you can have a tester of it because it is amazing it was a scent that i used to wear when i worked in gran canaria so when i put it on it's got so many memories and takes me right back so that's some advice i would give you if you're going to get someone some perfume make sure it's 100 ml because if you get 50 or anything less it's just going to go really quickly and it's just a huge disappointment because you'll probably be liking scent and you probably won't get hardly anything out of it so you need to go for 100 or more that's for sure that is a big top tip women like 100 mil he bought me a jumper this he took a gamble on from amazon he said which has come in this like really nice little bag to keep things nice and I've never really bought clothing on Amazon or anything like that. Tim did buy me a jumper from Amazon last year and it was really nice. Only recently have I lost a button on it, which I need to sew back on when I can be bothered. Amazon clothing is all right, but it's not my go-to place. Having said that, when he bought me this, I was really blown away by it and thought it was really nice. It's like semi-polar neck, so not quite which is great for me because I don't like too much going up my neck. So this is just like semi going up your neck, which is just about right for me. It's really warm, really, really soft. The brand is Bream Pot. I've never heard of it. But it's probably going to be difficult for me to wear whilst I'm pregnant. Hopefully when this baby bump goes down, if I can get it down before winter ends, I'll get some wear out of that. If not, I'm going to have to save it for next year. But either way, it's really cuddly. It's soft. It's not too bulky. So the neckline is just perfect for keeping you warm, but not strangling you. So what would the world be like without Amazon? That's what I want to know. We'd all be a little bit stuffed, wouldn't we? This was a really, really lovely gift. He's obviously bought a box for this to be um, a little bit more, I don't know, decorative, would you say? Which is very thoughtful of a man. Tim is one one of a million really this was probably my favorite gift to be honest with you from tim but he bought me this sexy watch i absolutely love this like i don't think he was expecting the reaction he got but i was just like oh my god i love that watch i do like the brand i've always liked this sexy brand because every watch that sexy does is so blingy i don't think tim realizes how much bling i do actually like because when he does buy me jewelry he always buys me like subtle dainty jewelry but i actually really like a nice bit of chunky bling i love it he really got it right here but this is the watch i'm just getting it out of the box so you can have a little look and um, actually it looks quite nice up against my nails actually this is really pretty it's going to be nice on the gigs it's just a really nice little bit of jewelry i'm like proper chuffed with that i'm like well done tim that was definitely my most favorite gift from tim a rucksack bag this is massive um i did mention to tim he listens quite carefully actually i did say when thump is born i'm gonna want like a little rucksacky bag because i find them quite easy to put over your shoulders and that and he's gone for one that's quite big because he's obviously thinking you're gonna need to fit quite a lot of stuff for the baby in there and he's quite right too i do need something that's quite big and this has got a nice little compartment at the front to put my belongings in as well it's nice when they've got like little extra pockets, isn't it? If I just open it up, he's put the receipt in there in case I wanted to take it back. But there is a lot of space in there and you can use it all year round. It's not like a summery colour or anything like that. An electric toothbrush. I got an electric toothbrush 
two years ago, the same time I got an electric toothbrush, I bought Tim one. Never used his that I bought him, left it under the bed, boxed, didn't touch it. Mine started to like lose battery strength over the year. I binned that and then I claimed Tim's because there was no way he was using it. He just don't really get on with electric toothbrushes. So at the moment I'm using like boys electric toothbrush. So when he bought this, I was like, yeah, you've got a girly one again. So what I love about this electric toothbrush is it's also come with like a box so I can travel around with it a little bit better. So to store your toothbrush in here, you have to take the head off and there's a separate compartment for the head. So it all packs down quite nicely in this little case. I'm really pleased about the fact that it does have a case. 360 degrees gum pressure control protects your gums and enamel which is very very good because you do need to protect the enamel that is the most vital and important thing about your teeth so i've got my electric toothbrush so at the moment i'm doing very very well now this was one of my other favorite presents i did say to tim when i opened this i was like oh wow like this is actually from lush and i feel a bit gutted because when i unwrap this it was nicely wrapped from Lush in really nice pink wrapping paper. Obviously, in order to get in it, I had to take that wrapping paper off. But I was really disappointed because the way it was wrapped by Lush was what made the present look so amazing. But it's three bath bombs in here. And I was just so excited when I opened it up and went, oh my God, I've got something from Lush because I love Lush. If any of you have seen my previous bath bomb hauls, you'll know how much I love my bath bombs, right? So this was great and this is like a limited Christmas edition. It, it doesn't look like much because it's just in like a little white box. But like I say, when I opened it on Christmas Day, it was in pink wrapping with a bow around it and looked absolutely amazing. In here you've got, oh, it smells amazing. I'm going to start sneezing in a bit probably, but a little snow fairy bath bomb. I'll probably upload onto Instagram maybe. When I do use these and put these in the bath, I will upload a little video so that you can have a little look. So if you're not following my Instagram, get following and then I'll upload and you can see what they're like as they disintegrate into the bath water and look absolutely amazing. I've got this one which has got stars and moons on it. God, they're massive as well. They're huge. These bath bombs, they're not cheap. And this one is absolutely to die for because it's a little Cinderella carriage. Looking at it in the wrapping paper was the most amazing bit. But these bath bombs are gorgeous. It's such a shame that when you buy Lush bath bombs that you can only really use one. I might start halving them maybe. So I get a bit more use out of them because they just go in a heartbeat. It's like that's only three baths worth in there and that costs about £16. I've never had a Lush gift before. So for me, when I opened that up on Christmas morning, I was like, oh, wow, that was one of my favourites. So I was really pleased with that. Can you see that all right? Yeah, there you go. So from Pandora, he's bought me a nice pair of earrings. He says, you wear these at your gigs. They're like little stars. When I do do my gigs, I do like some danglies. I like a bit of chunk and a bit of bling. And these are very, very dainty. So these may be good in my second holes. So I do have second holes. Or if not, I might wear them for a more subtle gig. So there you go. Star earrings bought with love. Another little dove item. This is one of my favourite gifts because I do like a bit of fake tan or gradual tan because I do like a bit of colour. You know, in the winter months when you can't get the sun, it's the best time to have this because there's nothing worse than looking a little bit too pasty. So I'm really pleased with this. It's a um, glow and go gift set. Summer revival, body mousse, gradual self tan and it has a mitt inside there i've already busted into this box there's your self tan your dove and here is the body mitt to apply that is so so soft my sister is wrong dove is not a booby prize dove is great although i don't know how men feel about the links because she said dove gift sets are a booby prize and so are links gift sets I, however, don't think that Dove sets are a BB prize, but I don't know how men feel about the Lynx. So if you can write in the comment below, that would be fantastic. When you receive a Lynx gift set on Christmas Day, is it severely disappointing or do you love it? So let me know in the comments because I'd love to get your take on that. Because I always buy my dad a Lynx gift set. 
although I didn't this year because I didn't want my sister frowning on me. Um, he's bought me this turban towel for my hair, which is really, really important because we have a towel rail in our bathroom and on it is mine and Tim's towel and Holly's and we just don't have any room for any more than the three towels. So I tend to like give my hair like a little bit of a dry with my body towel and then wrap the body towel around then just let it like hang but really what I want to do is keep it all turbaned up for a while before I blow dry it because I want to keep like the moisture in a little bit I like to let it sort of stay in the towel for a bit and it also helps dry it a little bit longer the fact he's bought me one of these is great I haven't got it out the pack yet but it's really really handy because it's small and I can easily pop that on the towel rail or use it the once and then shove it in the wash and it'll be ready for next time and it hasn't got to stay on the towel rail. It dries hair faster than a regular cotton towel. Well, what about that? So it's quite speedy. Oh, it says here, seal to contain the goodness of argan oil. Very bizarre. Super soft microfiber material. Um, the benefits of argan oil are a perfect match for healthy hair. It helps to tame frizz repair split ends and add shine place over your hair twist the towel secure with the button there's a button on it it also says to save your hair using a regular cotton towel this is probably things you didn't know is harsh on locks and can lead to breakage and frizz our gentle microfiber towel is designed to dry hair faster than a regular cotton towel saving time and blow drying features the nourishing benefits of argan oil i don't know how it has that benefit in it but it does apparently so this is like a proper winner i believe it's from new look i didn't know it was from new look and then i was in new look taking something back with holly the other day and i went there's my turban towel every year as well tim will buy me a box full of super drug goodies because I spend my life in super drug and if any of you know my channel then you will know that I do a lot of super drug hauls because everything a woman needs toiletry wise makeup wise is in super drug so he knows how much I need my stuff so he keeps this box which is my super drug box every year and he fills it full of super drug goodies and I open it up and all my super drug stuff is in here. Yeah, I love this box and I'm gonna show you what I've got inside here, so brace yourselves. And see what I've got this year. Right, so he's bought me some Pantene conditioner and some shampoo to go with it. He's bought me some foot nourishing socks. Obviously there must have been some sort of deal on these, maybe two for one. Or buy one get one free some marcella cleansing water every girl needs some cleansing water it's very good for your skin a real techniques blending sponge i love blending sponges like i've literally fallen in love with blending sponges all over again two emery boards for your nails there you go smidge some toothpaste cotton wool some Nivea deodorant so all things that you need some hand sanitizer don't tell Tim but I've still got like 10 of these in the cupboard from like previous years <laughs> but we're getting there we're getting through them now we've got this um c word going around um I'm getting through these a little bit faster um manuka honey face mask some so pink lemonade body spray this smells so good actually mm, so good so like this is so much better than an impulse no disrespect to mr impulse but this is just so much nicer on a real techniques makeup brush this is for concealer and then last but not least some anti-wrinkle day cream q10 nivea i don't know whether to be insulted or not is he trying to tell me something have i got wrinkles are they coming but either way it's going to come in handy if nothing else to prevent the ones that may arrive so i've done very well with my super drug box and my last gift from tim i'm just going to give you a little bit of a close-up of this actually tim has bought me the facebook portal which i am keeping by the bed but this is great because at the moment, see, I've just said Facebook portal. It thinks I'm going to ask for something. So it's almost like 
electronic photo frame as well so i've got all my photos on facebook that just keep flicking through so i'm looking at all my memories all the time but if i say hey portal ring tim calling tim, tim linden it should do and i can just sit here the good thing about this as well is that i can actually whoever's watching me gets to see the full view of the room I'm just testing, Tim, just to show everyone my Christmas presents so everyone can see what my main gift was like. Well, as you can see, everyone, this is how it looks when you're making a call. It's a good job I wasn't naked. Well, if you were naked walking down the street, I'd be seriously concerned. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, it's really good quality for when you're calling somebody like me. In other words, you, your quality, you know, the mine, obviously. Getting yeah, very dark now. I love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. I'm going to rate that a five. So I'm just going to go over a few things that I got from family members. I did quite well out of Holly this year. And she's done so well. She's had herself a little job this year, um, waitressing. And so she's actually had a little bit of money. So she said, like, I really want to treat everyone this year. So like my heart like totally bled when I got my gifts from Holly. It's so lovely. She's bought me a couple of t-shirts, which I'm hoping to get into after baby's born. But they're going to be lovely for the spring. I really do appreciate these. And a nice white one that says Pearl on it. Who doesn't need a white t-shirt with a little logo on? I do love my t-shirts with logos on. She's also bought me some cotton wool from Primark, which of course we all need a bit of cotton wool. She's bought me this hair clip. I really need one of these. Some hair clips don't have much grip, but this has got really good grip. Wilkinson's, I think she got this from. Yeah, really like holds my hair back really, really well. I didn't tie this bit back in. There you go. Let's see if it holds for the rest of the vlog, shall we? And she's bought me some bath bombs as well, which are from Primark, which are absolutely lovely. She's bought me a charcoal peel of face mask. I tell you what, I have got so many face masks now. I'm in my elements. That's going to keep me going for quite a while. This was my main present from Holly. And I love this because when she bought it, she thought about me and work and laptops and stuff like that. She bought me this black bag. So I've got another black bag. But the beauty of them both are two completely different styles and this is so spacious. I just love it. I did have a silver one of these actually from Primark, but this is actually from New Look. Similar shape and it just started to wear at the handle, but this is a New Look one. So she's gone for a different shop and it's got a really nice suede kind of finish on it. And this like little zip pattern, this is just decoration. It's also got a little purse to match which you can put some little things inside as well and it stays attached to the handle and inside you've got some separate compartments you've got a zip in here to put some bits in wonderful it's going to fit the laptop in beautifully it's a great little work bag i'll definitely be taking that to work with me when i get back after maternity but i probably will also be taking it on my gigs as well because i do need to take like sometimes my laptop sometimes the tablet sometimes ipod whatever i'm going with at the time that bag is just peachy i love it thank you very much holly mother really appreciates it i've also received from my friend bex we always treat each other to a gift at christmas she's bought me a really lovely pillow which says life is better with friends so it's really personalized and lovely that's going to be going on my bed so thank you very much for that bex i do love it and she's also bought me some cozy socks i've now got two different types of cozy socks what's bizarre is that both are pink tim and bex obviously know me very well cozy wine socks what a lovely little gift in the shape of a cake how cute is that so thank you very much to Bex. I absolutely love it. My sister bought me a really nice pair of shoes from Very, which she said, oh, you can wear these for your gigs. <laughs> so she must have got quite excited when she saw these because they're obviously nice and silver. Um, the heel's not too high on them, probably just about right. So she knows me quite well. I can't wait to have babies so I can go out, stand at a bar, put these shoes on and feel a million dollars again. Thank you to my sister for these. And the last thing that she bought me, if anybody knows me, 
they know how much I love my coffee. And yeah, she's bought me a pair of pajamas, which won't fit until the baby's born, but it's absolutely fine. Because like I say, I haven't got much longer to go now. And it says on it, coffee o'clock, takeaway, cappuccino, espresso, latte, iced coffee on there, and bottoms to match. And they've just got like takeaway coffees and coffee mugs and stuff all over them. So anyone would think I'm obsessed with coffee. They'd be right. I am obsessed with my coffee. I love it. But as the third trimester has progressed, I've started to not enjoy my coffee as much. So I've had to go for like a more sweeter option, like um, toffee nut lattes and things like that. But the real Gabby, when she's not pregnant, is coffee mad. And I'm really looking forward to getting my taste buds back for my coffee because I'm missing the fact I love my coffee. See, I told you that would hold for the rest of it. I have done extremely well. One of the main reasons for this vlog is because I wanted to bring some ideas to yourselves. So if anyone is struggling and doesn't know what to buy a girl, um, these are the things that I received and I appreciate every single gift that I have been given. I love presents. Who doesn't love a present? I think you'd be lying if you said you didn't. I absolutely love it. Not all this stuff is expensive. It's just like some bits are really small. I mean, I would say this is a pound in Primark. And when I opened up this from Holly, my heart melted. Yes, I've got a Facebook portal. But do I love that as much as I love my Dove tanning mitt? I like them just as much. So you do not need to break the bank. I'm absolutely in love with everything I've received. I'm grateful for it. If you need any ideas whatsoever and you don't know what to get your girlfriend, your mum, your sister, your friend who's a girl, then you can go for things like this and I'm pretty sure she will be extremely pleased, just as I am. I do hope that you've all had a wonderful Christmas, a big happy new year to you all, because by the time this is uploaded, it should be new year. So big happy new year to you. Thank you so, so much for watching this vlog. If you haven't done so already, please give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Hit the notification bell so that you can see more videos like this. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram at Gabby Starbuck Vocalist. You can follow me and my singing on Facebook as well under Gabby Starbuck. And um, that's Gabby G-A-B-Y. That is how it is spelt. And you can also follow me on Twitter. Get following, join in the love. I look forward to seeing more of you guys. And I hope that you look forward to more of my videos. So from me, Gabby Starbuck, Thank you all for watching. Take care. Mwah. Mwah. And I'll see you soon. Smith, you gonna say goodbye? Say goodbye. Perfect. Mwah. Good boy. Mwah.